today I'm doing a pinup girl look as you can tell it's kind of an easier look to do and I think if you have this type of look um, and you're well trained in this type of look then you can adapt it to whatever style you want beyond that it's one of the basic ones for a makeup artist so I hope that you enjoy it and just keep watching so let's get started the first thing that I'm going to do is to apply a creamy base and this is just going to neutralize any redness across the lid you can also use some concealer if you wanted to I place this underneath the eye as well. Arch brows really suit this pinup girl look, so I'm going to start by taking my spoolie and just brushing my brows up. Then I'm going to take my brow pencil and I'm going to draw little lines working up towards the highest point of my brow. And then on the other side, I'm going to draw little lines going down, and this is going to really emphasize the arch. Then I'm just going to fill in any sparse areas and just blend that in with my spoolie. You can set the brows in place with some clear mascara. We're going to start off with the mid-tone and the contour colour this time. So I'm going to start by taking my mid-tone and work this into the crease. Now your crease is just slightly above your lid. I'm using a fluffy brush just to work it back and forth right into the crease. Then I'm going to take a slightly darker shade, this is about shade darker than the first one, and do exactly the same thing, but I'm not going to blend it up or down as much as I did with the mid-tone. Just to get rid of any harsh lines, you can retake that mid-tone and go around the edges and just blend and buff out any harsh lines. Next I'm going to take a white cream eyeshadow and using a flat brush I'm going to apply this on the lid. You can apply this all the way across the lid and if you have oily lids then I would suggest setting it with some kind of a shadow but I'm actually just going to leave it the way it is. If you don't like using cream eyeshadows then you can just use a very highly pigmented white eyeshadow or a slightly champagne colour depending on your colouring. And then just take a fluffy brush and buff out any harsh lines. Time for eyeliner. I'm first of all going to take an angled brush and taking a little bit of black eyeshadow I'm going to place my line that I want my wing to be just to the outer corner and this is just going to be like a stencil just to make it easier for you. If you do make a mistake with this then you can always buff it away. Once you have your stencil put in and you can add a little bit more if you want to then you can just go over the top with a liquid or you can go over the top with a felt tip liner like I'm going to do. Just run it right across the lash line and over the top of that stencil that we put down. You want to allow it to get slightly thicker. And just keep checking to see if you're getting the shape that you want. You want it to be kind of tapered just out on the edge. Next I'm going to take that cream eyeshadow and use this on my lower waterline and this is just going to really lift the eyes and brighten them up. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply a few coats of mascara to my upper lashes and also a little touch on the lower lashes as well. To really get that vintage look I'm going to apply some corner lashes. Basically I've just taken a pair of eyelashes and trimmed them and I'm just going to place this right on the after corner. Don't worry about the glue because it will set. Now I'm just going to apply some foundation over my face. And then taking a mixture of these two powders, I'm going to blend it over the face. I'm going to use my brush sort of like a powder puff and just dab it over the skin. This will set the makeup but also give our faces a little bit of life. Then I'm going to take the bronzer and work it underneath my cheeks. I'm just buffing this away making sure there's no harsh lines. And then finally just a little bit of blush on the cheeks. Probably the best step is to apply the red lips because it really completes the look. I'm going to apply it straight from the tube and then just blend it in with my brush. And you're done! 
So I'm just on Instagram and I just want to say a big thank you for being so sweet um, to the three people that just commented. I don't know, there might be more comments after this, but for the three people that commented. And you see, here are the names. So thank you so much. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. I'm Shani Katie and thank you so much for watching. Bye.